Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about um, OpenStack Cinder integration with uh, Cloud Byte storage. So, quick, quick overview on uh, Cloud Byte uh, storage, right? So, we deliver fundamental building block, um, which is QoS enabled storage for the public and private cloud, um, which is hosting enterprise class applications. And this supports both SAN and NAS interface for the applications and REST APIs uh, towards uh, cloud platforms. So this is software-only delivery model where um, this runs on any commodity hardware. We, uh, we support all the standard um, storage features. We also support um, four-node high, high availability that really increases um, exponentially increases the availability of the storage in the cloud environments. So this is a key differentiator. So when you say storage in cloud byte, it, it'll be always uh, capacity along with other performance parameters like IOPS, latency, and throughput. Um, so it, it's comparing to uh, other legacy solutions. Uh, it is just capacity. Let me quickly move on to um, the demo. So this is the demo setup. So we have one OpenStack controller here. Um, and we have the OpenStack compute environment, which is running KVM. And the storage is being provided by CloudBite uh, Elasticstore. So OpenStack is having a um, concept called demo, I mean, uh, the project. So we have the similar concept in, an, in our cloud bed elastic store called account. So we will be able to map the OpenStack um, project with a cloud bed account. So whenever the project is getting created in the OpenStack, uh, you'll have a account is getting created in the cloud bed elastic store. Uh, with that, let me quickly move on to um, the demo part uh, and see how we can create a volume, manage the volume sitting on the OpenStack Horizon uh, dashboard, right? Okay. So uh, this is the OpenStack. Uh, Horizon um, dashboard. So right right now, right now it's having two Ubuntu instance running, and we have two volumes being um, provisioned. So one volume is attached with uh, one of the Ubuntu node, and another volume is attached with another Ubuntu node. Um, let me quickly show the corresponding UI from the cloud Elastic Elasticstore. So here you have the accounts. So out of five accounts, the demo is the account being attached with the OpenStack project called demo. So I just go inside that. Here it's going to show how much is the storage being provisioned for this particular demo account. Uh, and it's going to show how much IOPS is being provisioned for this particular demo account. If you go down uh, further, it's, it's going to show how much is being consumed and things like that. Um, so basically, the demo account is having two storage volumes provisioned for it. And with each, each of these volumes are configured with 500, 500 IOPS. So I'm going to show how you are going to provision additional volumes from the OpenStack um, uh, dashboard. Just go here and create a volume. Vol 4. And for a 40 gig size, I'm going to specify the IOPS limit of 700 gig. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to attach this volume to one of the Ubuntu uh, instance. Um, I'm attaching to the Ubuntu instance two slash dev. Now I am going back. Um, so this is newly created volume being attached to Ubuntu instance um, with 700 IOPS per second. So I am going going into the Ubuntu instance. I am going to run some I/O tool to see whether it's going to um, stick to the predefined I/O limits. VDC. <clears throat> so I'm just formatting um, the newly attached volume with um, um, EX, EXC2 file format. So I, I'm mounting, um, I have mounted newly created um, volume um, on the path CB wall four. I'm going to run a IO tool uh, to show that it's going to uh, stay with the predefined uh, IO parameters. So this is this is a column which is saying number of uh, IOPS, which is uh, being configured as 700. So now I am going to change it um, in the OpenStack um, dashboard. So it's going to change dynamically on on the Ubuntu mounted volume. So I'm going to say 900. Okay. So it's done. So it has just uh, moved from 700 to 900 range uh, on the fly. Okay, so that, uh, that completes the demo. Uh, that's it. Thank you.